Distinguished uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I'm at your disposal. I hope there's no need for any kind of introduction. I think the topics are uh, more or less uh, known to everybody, cybersecurity, um, global security, conflict areas. Now, I told President Putin my agenda is not against Russia or anyone else. It's for the American people. Fighting COVID-19, rebuilding our economy, reestablishing relationships around the world, our allies and friends, and protecting the American people. That's my responsibility as president. I also told him that no president of the United States could keep faith with the American people if they did not speak out to defend our democratic values, to stand up for the universal and fundamental freedoms that all men and women have in our view. That's just part of the DNA of our country. So human rights is going to always be on the table, I told him. It's not about just going after Russia when they violate human rights. It's about who we are. How could I be the president of the United States of America and not speak out against the violation of human rights? I told him that unlike other countries, including Russia, we're uniquely a product of an idea. You've heard me say this before again and again, but I'm going to keep saying it. What's that idea? We don't derive our rights from the government. We possess them because we're born, period. And we yield them to a government. As for cybersecurity, we reached an agreement, chiefly that we will start negotiations on that. I think that's extremely important. And the question of who, to what degree, needs to take on responsibility, that should be resolved during the negotiation process. We're going to start consultations. What we think is that when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity is incredibly important in the world in general, and specifically for the United Nations, and it's also important for Russia to the same extent. But I think just throwing out these insinuations at the expert level, that's, that's inappropriate. We should sit and start working. That's in the interest of the United States and the Russian Federation. In principle, we've reached agreement about that, and Russia is prepared to do it. Another area we spent a great deal of time on was cyber and cybersecurity. I talked about the proposition that certain critical infrastructures should be off limits to attack, period, by cyber or any other means. I gave them a list. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have it in front of me, 16 specific entities, 16 defined as critical infrastructure under U.S. policy, from the energy sector to our water systems. Of course, the principle is one thing. It has to be backed up by practice. Responsible countries need to take action against criminals who conduct ransomware activities on their territory. So we agreed to task experts in both our, both our countries to work on specific understandings about what's off limits and to follow up on specific cases that originate in other countries, in their, either of our countries.